Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Brad Bundy, Vice President for University Advancement. Thanks for joining us today as we continue our series of virtual town halls brought to you by University Advancement. Our town halls are a forum for you, our most dedicated and loyal supporters, to get a look behind the scenes with our university leaders. I am so excited to join you from the new McVeigh Data Science Building in Oxford, Ohio. This facility is brand new, opening at the start of the spring semester. The building would not be here today if it were not for the $20 million gift from Miami alumnus Rick McVeigh from the class of 1981. Rick's generosity and passion for helping Miami students has created an innovative, collaborative environment that will bring Miami to the forefront of an important and rapidly growing field, data science. Data science is much more than numbers. It's about storytelling and decision-making, and it's a necessary part of so many disciplines, not just in the STEM fields, but in the humanities as well. As we work to break down silos in higher education, McVeigh Data Science is at the forefront of our efforts. The building brings together the departments of emerging technology in business and design, statistics, computer science and software, engineering, and the Center for Analytics and Data Science, otherwise known as CADS. It will feature strong partnerships with the Department of Information Systems and Analytics, the Lilly Institute, and the Armstrong Institute for Emerging Technology. Bringing all these programs under one roof will help create new collaborations across previously separate academic disciplines, and we are excited about the possibilities for innovation. Data science was even used in the creation of the building. The design team used data analytics to simulate the most likely walking paths taken by students and faculty through the building and to map out the common areas where students could collaborate. It's a testament to the pervasive nature of data science and the need for a facility like this to prepare Miami students for the future. In today's town hall, you will hear from Rick McVeigh about his views on the importance of the work that takes place in this building. You'll also hear from the faculty and staff who are leading the programs that are represented in this building and get a sneak peek into some of the innovative new spaces. Thanks for joining us. Let's get started data science skills for Miami students are so critical in today's economy. And we're seeing that firsthand in the world of bond trading where things have moved at light speed from the old trading floors and the manual process of trading bonds to fully digital and automated ways of trading bonds. And the reality is from my perspective, the finance degree at Miami University is no longer sufficient to prepare students for a life on Wall Street trading floors. So as a result, I felt really good about my ability to have an impact in changing that and bringing data science skills uh, to the Farmer Business School in finance, but fortunately to so many other uh, programs and, and disciplines at Miami University. So it was all about how do we enrich the experience for students and prepare them for the future that at this point includes data science in almost every area. My ability to give back to help future Miami students be prepared for the new world of data science uh, is very gratifying for me to be able to, to deliver back to, to the school that I care so much about. When I think about how this building is gonna to contribute to student success, I think it's easy to talk about the kinds of things that happen in the building, but I think it's really much more symbolically about what the building is about, what it stands for. You know, So much of Miami's spaces are a reflection of a fairly siloed history. We have a space for a department or a space for a division. And, and I think there's a very symbolic act of creating a building in a space that is silo-less, right? It crosses all these different departments, it crosses divisions, it has a lot of space for people to just hang out. It is less a collection of classrooms as it is um, spaces that define communities. and. And so I think I think the real transformational role the building has is kind of making a pretty broad and bold statement that like, hey, this is what Miami University is about. You know, we're not just about standing in a classroom and teaching something, right? That 
that's on YouTube, right? Like what does, what does a university bring to the table? Well, the spaces enable the kind of thing that doesn't happen on YouTube, more than a lecture, more than a classroom. It's about creating a community. So when I think about how this building represents the future of Miami and, and sort of the front door to Miami, I think about that in two ways. Like first, very literally, like when tours happen at this university, this is where they're going to start. This, this is the front door of the university already. Even in the short time we've been open, there's a constant flow of tours, not just campus tours, but people bringing industry folks through and kids bringing their parents into the building. It is very much a front door for the university, but I also think it sets a tone for what the university is going to be moving forward. And so when you walk in and you see the XR stage and you see the projections on the wall and you see the little rooms with the students spending time together and working on projects, I think it, it, it clearly is kind of ushering in a new chapter. It's saying here, here is what we think we need to be doing. And so it is both, I think, a literal front door, but I think it's also very much a symbolic front door for what the next chapter of the institution is going to be. The mission of the Leadership Institute is to prepare students for their futures in the real world. So we want them to be able to handle the real complex issues that are going to be part of their futures. And that's going to mean that they need to understand how to have a big picture view. So for example, one of the things they're working on now is how to see how to implement artificial intelligence so it can really unleash the power of professionals. It is wonderful for the Leadership Institute to be located here in the McVeigh Data Science Building because it's a perfect fit. Um, obviously, it's a stunning building, and we love it. But what we care about most and what's most exciting are the people. So we're bringing together all of the people that our students will be working with um, and that we recruit in the Leadership Institute. So all these majors, statistics, emerging technologies, computer science, all of them are part of the Leadership Institute. In business, we really want people from different disciplines to work together. That's what we're all about. I mean, business has been trying to break down silos for a long time. And I'm so proud that Miami is starting this early. So we're getting our students in that mindset from the very beginning. They're really going to be able to go into the workforce and be much more effective and make the companies they work for a lot better. What's most important to me about the Leadership Institute is we're working on transformation, the really hard things that people need for the future. And the fact that Eli Lilly and Company and Miami University are willing to invest in this, I'm really proud of. Emerging technology in business and design takes those three elements and works at the intersection. So technology is the ability to bring digital tools, digital devices in to solve a problem. Business is taking a look at that problem and making sure that the solution you have is financially viable. Design is taking into account human needs and making sure that the solution meets those needs, utilizing technology as part of that solution. The McVeigh Data Science Building provides a playground for our students to utilize the latest technology and also provides a space where they can collaborate, meet, and work as groups. One of the key parts of the building, the extended reality stage, is a unique stage platform, different from other virtual production platforms in the country, in the fact that it was designed for education. We have the ability to quickly switch from one media format to another, so students might be utilizing a game engine, an interactive input, or a virtual production scene. This allows us to teach students those different flows so they can then be effective in industry. What we have found for our students is that often by providing technology and a space to play with it, they can often find new and innovative solutions that we haven't even thought of yet. And being in a, a department that works around emerging technology, it's creating individuals that can figure out what the next technologies are or how current technologies can be applied in new ways. So computer science is about 
what's the recipe to solve the problem? Or we like to use, we like to get fancy and use the word algorithms, but it really is just a step-by-step -step set of instructions on how does a computer solve the problem. Say symbolically, the McVeigh Data Science Building sort of represents Miami looking towards the future. The future is going to be about data, and I believe there's a coming revolution in artificial intelligence that's going to change every field out there. The McVeigh Data Science Building has allowed us to have the entire department in the same building uh, and in the same place where we teach our classes. It's also given us, of course, amazing facilities, you know, cutting edge classrooms that will keep us in the forefront, you know, of data science and help our help us prepare our students successfully. The modern world runs on software. There's not anything that we do today that doesn't involve computers and software that is running on those computers. Uh, as a consequence, security of those systems has become essential. And that's our department added a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity recently. We now have a dedicated lab for cybersecurity that allows us to train students for that future and allows them to essentially break the computers every day so we can reconstruct them and then allow them to break them again the next day as they learn the ins and outs of cyber operations and cyber defense. Uh, by its nature, data science is cross-disciplinary. There's a huge number of areas, you know, data cleaning, data visualization, machine learning, and I could go on. And all of these field, all of these things are done with computers, pretty much. They would not exist without computers. And all the steps on inside data analysis, they're executed by algorithms that are encoded in software. And of course, so computer science is central uh, to data science. And probably the best data scientists are people who have one foot in computer science and one foot in statistics. I would say data science is a very broad definition. Uh, when I think about it, it's everything from simple descriptive kind of statistics to high powered techniques to reach a conclusion. The, I would say the two main aspects from my point of view are telling a story which we teach our students how to do in a number of courses. We have a specific course called data visualization where they just do all kinds of cool work. And then the second uh, primary aspect of data science would be using statistics to reach a decision. So for instance, if you're working for a pharmaceutical firm and you're trying to decide whether um, to push a new drug forward because you have evidence that it treats migraine headaches, for example, uh, there would be mountains of data that would be used in reaching that decision. The thing that excites me the most about the new building is all of the collaborative spaces. Here, when I leave class, I see my students congregating at tables in all these great open spaces that they can use. So it's almost like you had this, this blinking sign that said, come and sit here to work together. And so, you know, they identified the spaces right away and made use of them. And so that's exciting to me. You can be involved in a lot of collaborations that you might not initially think would happen. So I'm hoping that this building will be sort of a, a place that provides fertile ground for those kind of interactions that then lead to collaborative work. Um, in the Gonzales CADS lab, students will engage in projects for our corporate partners. And these projects will typically include one or two faculty fellows who are uh, CADS professors who have signed on to work with students to complete projects for our corporate partners. One of the most uh, exciting things for me are all the um, little alcoves and team rooms and project rooms and enclave rooms. And there's, there's four or five different uh, titles that these rooms are given, but students can book many of these rooms for their team projects. Analytics and data science uh, both involve coding languages such as R and Python. So students get a chance to experience these coding languages in our boot camps and can end up earning a certificate, which they can post on social media, LinkedIn, places like that. Um, and uh, this helps with uh, getting future employment. Information systems and analytics is, by nature, it, it's, it's data science in a business context. So it does fit under that huge umbrella of data science, but it's not so much on the on the very technical end where you would find statisticians and hardcore computer science kind of folks. 
we're, we're much more applied in our, in our discipline. We have a business analytics program that is all about data-driven decision-making in business contexts. So it's applying that data using methods developed by statisticians, helping companies understand and uh, people in the business who don't necessarily know data science understand what the data scientists are doing. Um, and so it, it's very much data in its focus. Our other programs are information systems and cybersecurity management also relate kind of the same way to the, to the more technical engineering disciplines. Uh, information systems is really about a, a process focus. It's how, how can companies leverage technology to, to do things differently and drive bottom line. Uh, and cyber is protecting all those digital assets, but it, it's not doing the protection. It's understanding what needs to be protected, what methods are out there to protect, what kind of bad things might happen, how do we manage the risk of thing, bad things happening. So all of our programs are very applied, but very much under the, the data science umbrella. The, the key word in all of our disciplines is analyst. So they could be a security analyst, they could be a data analyst, they could be a technology analyst, but they're, it, but they're, they're playing that analyst role inside an organization, helping the business units figure out what to do by analyzing data or, or using technology to apply to a business problem. So analysts, we, we, a lot of our students also go into consulting. Big Four, West Monroe, all have growing IT and analytics practices. And so our student, a lot of our students land there. Um, some of them start their own companies because they also second in an entrepreneurship program, or maybe they'll get a computer science double and really go into a tech focus applied context. So it, really, it's, it, it, they go everywhere. They, they go into a lot of different types of jobs. One of the things that I really loved about uh, President Crawford's vision for the data science program that connected with me is the cross-disciplinary nature of, of the programs that we're building at McVeigh Data Science. And what's really exciting about that are the networking opportunities it creates for Miami students to work across disciplines, meet other students that they might not otherwise collaborate with them. But collaboration, in my mind, is a huge uh, piece of career success. And I think this program does that because I can see many future programs that collaborate across different schools. Something relevant to me in finance is the combination of skills from the finance program at Farmer Business School to computer science within engineering and now data science. And I think the students that will benefit the most are the ones that really take advantage of working across all of those disciplines and are, are totally prepared when they leave Miami for today's economy. Thank you for joining us for the town hall today. We truly appreciate your loyal and dedicated support for Miami. Until our next town hall, love and honor.